Hi guys, so welcome to another tutorial on IT Talk Tutorials. I am Josep Potnar and uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, C++. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, start uh, a series of tutorials regarding to, uh, C++ uh, programming language uh, and uh, I'm going to continue uh, these tutorials because I have done before the C++ uh, tutorials. There is a playlist with the C++ tutorials and uh, I'm going to continue uh, these uh, tutorials where I left uh, this uh, series of C++ uh, tutorials. Uh, this tutorial has the goal to talk about structure and specifically about the array of structure. So a structure is an item which um, contain a, a collection of uh, variables. So we are able to declare a more than one uh, variable a collection of variables uh, inside the uh, structure. These uh, variables uh, can have the same uh, type or different types. Also, uh, we can uh, declare an uh, array which uh, can have uh, the structure type. The structure has a very similar functionality as uh, the class uh, does. There is uh, a few differences and I'm going to talk about this in another uh, tutorial. So that's why we can uh, declare an array which uh, can use the type of the structure. In this way, uh, that array is able to access uh, the members uh, of the structure, uh, which are actually uh, the variables uh, declared inside the structure. So I'm going to make an application which will calculate the gross uh, wage uh, for a certain number of employees in a, a certain uh, company uh, using uh, the uh, array of uh, structure. Uh, in this way, I think uh, you will be able uh, to understand uh, better how uh, this uh, array of structure uh, works. So let's uh, uh, start the application. Let's create uh, an application, a C++ application from scratch. So go and uh, click on create a new project. Okay. Here select uh, C++ uh, and we are going to do a console app C++, which is this one uh, here in this uh, list. Uh, uh, because uh, I used before to do uh, C++ console app, uh, that's why this console app uh, appears uh, on the left side, uh, inside this uh, list uh, situated on the left side. So now click on next, after you selected uh, a console app, uh, uh, what uh, we are going to do uh, in the next. Let's uh, name uh, this uh, project, this application, array of uh, structure okay i'm gonna to change uh, the location because uh, i used to put uh, these uh, applications c plus plus applications in a different uh, folder all right you can do the same if you want to change the location uh, of your c plus plus applications click on create so here you go and this will lead uh, inside the visual studio where we are gonna to uh, write the code let's remove this all right and uh, this one as well so i'm going to make the application and after i finish i will give you all the needed explications regard to this application and the object of this uh, tutorial uh, array of a structure so let's start
Here you go, uh, the application is uh, done. So uh, let's see what I have done uh, here. Uh, let's uh, shrink uh, this uh, console. And let's go inside the code and uh, let's talk about this. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I used uh, this um, library, Yomanip, uh, in order to be able to use uh, this um, format manipulator, uh, which will uh, make uh, the uh, real numbers to be displayed uh, with uh, two digits after digital, uh, the uh, decimal point, uh, because I have uh, used uh, this uh, whole number two inside the parentheses for uh, this uh, manipulator set uh, precision. Yeah, so I declared uh, a structure using this uh, keyword structure, the name of the structure, and in inside the body of the structure, uh, I uh, declared two variables, uh, integer variable in it uh, hours, and uh, a double real variables uh, pay uh, rate. Yeah, pay attention uh, for this uh, semicolon, uh, which uh, ending uh, uh, this uh, structure, and is used uh, to uh, declare a uh, uh, structure to the end uh, of the body of the structure. Yeah, as you can see, the structure is declared uh, outside of the main uh, uh, method, which is the uh, central point uh, for execution of any C++ application. And this works uh, in this way, not just for C++, for uh, other uh, programming languages like um, Java or uh, C Sharp and uh, so on. Also, I declare this constant uh, integer in it, uh, which is holding this uh, in, uh, integer uh, value 5, uh, which represents actually the number of the employees. And uh, on the next line, I declared uh, this uh, employee's uh, array, which is using uh, this constant as uh, subscript, as an uh, index, as you can uh, see, and uh, is using uh, the uh, type of the structure, employee uh, details. That uh, means uh, this uh, array's employees uh, will be able, in this way, using the type of the structure, to access the member of the structure. Uh, which are the members of the structure? The member of the structure are these uh, two variables, this in a two hours variable and the double real pay rate uh, variable, which are are able to be accessed by these employees' arrays because this array is using the type of the structure. Also, I declare this in the integer variable index in order to be used as a counter inside this uh, uh, for these two for uh, loop. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, also, uh, here um, just I use uh, this uh, output stream C out in order to display this text uh, together with this uh, constant uh, num uh, underscore employees. The first uh, for loop uh, will uh, display actually the uh, this text hours worked by employee. Here the index, as I told you, is uh, used uh, either uh, inside the for loop uh, as a counter and here. Uh, inside these parentheses uh, has the same role as a counter, actually. Uh, the a number of the employees will be uh, counting uh, using this index, uh, adding this one in order that the employee uh, counting uh, to start with uh, one. So actually, this part of the code, uh, starting with uh, 26 uh, up to 28, uh, uh, will uh, uh, display the uh, employees and uh, hours uh, for each uh, employees because uh, this, uh, as you can see, I'm using this uh, array employees which is able to access uh, this uh, member hours of this uh, structure employee details uh, which has the type uh, in it uh, in teacher, yeah, and um, this part of code uh, will uh, display the hours. Actually, first uh, will display uh, these two, uh, this text hours worked by employees, as you can see here in console. Yeah, uh, let's uh, go up here. So enter the hours worked by five employees and their hourly uh, rate. It is about this one, this text, uh, which is outside of this for loop and after. Uh, hours worked by employee is this text, hours worked by employee using this uh, output uh, C out uh, stream. Yeah, and um, here is the number for each employee, which is uh, displayed by using this uh, indexed variable 
and adding uh, uh, this um, whole uh, number uh, one yeah and after another c1 using this column yeah for uh, each uh, of uh, this and um, after uh, on uh, 28 line i'm using this input stream c in uh, which will uh, read uh, from the keyboard the hours for each uh, employee using this uh, array and this uh, member of the structure hours which uh, has the type uh, in it as you can see uh, and it is the member of this uh, structure uh, accessed by this uh, array employees uh, because this array using the type of the structure and in this way is able to access the members of the structure yeah and uh, as i told you this uh, input c in will read the hours entered by user and uh, this array together with the hours uh, uh, variable integer into variable will uh, hold the number of the hours then in the same uh, way it works at uh, this part of the code and here this c in input stream uh, will uh, read from the keyboard the uh, pay rate uh, uh, entered by a user from uh, the keyboard uh, using this uh, employees again uh, again this employees array uh, together with this pay rate uh, variable which is part of this uh, employees detail structure and uh, has the type uh, double as you can see and uh, the another uh, for loop uh, will uh, actually will uh, first uh, we'll calculate um, the cross uh, wage um, using this uh, double uh, uh, real uh, variable declared on this line 42 i'm using this formula to calculate the cross uh, wage uh, so um, the formula contains uh, uh, the same array as you can see employees but this array first uh, is accessing the the one of the uh, structure members this uh, variable hours which is uh, this one and has the type uh, integer in it and the same uh, array will access the another member of the structure pay uh, rate which has uh, this uh, type uh, double as you can uh, see the array is able to access uh, these two members of the employee detail structure because the array is using the type of the structure as you can see on this line 18 employee details yeah and um, in this way uh, this variable uh, cr uh, gross wage will uh, hold uh, the uh, gross wage for each uh, employee uh, and uh, this to see out uh, output stream will uh, display the gross uh, wage uh, for each employee using uh, this uh, index uh, and adding this uh, whole number one and the variable gross uh, wage uh, with this holding the gross uh, wage for each um, employee so uh, that's uh, all for uh, now this uh, was all about uh, the array of the structure as you can see if you declare an array and the array will uh, use the type of the structure the array is able to access the member of the structure which are uh, variables declared inside the body of the structure these variables can have the same type or different uh, types okay so thank you that's all for now thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial see you next time bye bye